It could be that they found a bunch of files that had been deleted. It could be that they found evidence of an internet search that was no longer on his computer. Legal expert Patricia LaFrance says the possibilities are endless when it comes to the evidence that led to the latest indictment in Logan Clegg's case. He's now accused of altering, destroying, or removing information from his laptop related to the case. If they are charging him with falsifying physical evidence, then they have some information and some evidence that allowed them to charge that. This coming out one day before both sides are expected back in court for a motions hearing. Last month, the defense making two motions to suppress evidence. The first, cell phone pings that Clegg's attorney says were initiated before police asked for a warrant, saying it violated his rights. The second, statements Clegg made to police after his arrest. The defense says he asserted his right to stay silent, but police didn't listen. Those involved in both of those investigations expected to take the stand tomorrow. So they're going to call um, every officer who was involved either in the search uh, involving the, the cell phone or um, when they took his statement. So, you know, it's all police officers. Now, LaFrance notes there may not be a decision on these motions by the end of the day tomorrow, adding the judge will not only want to take arguments on both sides into consideration, but case law as well. Clegg's trial is slated to start in July. Live in the studio, Marissa Tancino, WMUR News 9.